I made a, a type one error on my pond here. And some of the error was, I was aware of when I did it, and I did it on purpose because I didn't want to truck in the additional clay and I didn't want to build the wall super high, especially for a pond that's, this, this is a really small pond with a wall that's not very uh, tall at all. So I was calculating that um, it wouldn't be an issue. And if it was an issue, it could be repaired relatively easy. So um, one of the things that I did wrong um, was I installed, I installed this, um, this grate on top, of the, on top of the spillway, the pipe that goes through the wall, and then on both sides. And I'm not sure if you can see this. I'll try to walk it in here. But as you can see, there's a, there's a ring. So it's a universal grate. And it's, it's the, it fits a four inch pipe and it fits a three inch pipe. The problem, of course, is, is that it restricts, if you have a four inch pipe, it restricts it to three inch. And then we've also got this grates covering it, which restricts it even further. So um, I was really restricting the amount of water that got through uh, my pipe. And so we had a huge storm surge and then the water went over the wall and then started to, started to erode the wall which is a huge uh, problem and that can cause um, you know a pond and that can cause a pond to um, to fail so um, one of the issues that I have with this pond right from the get-go which I knew about is I do, I do not have three feet of freeboard obviously usually you want a meter or three feet of freeboard between the water level and the height of the wall um, so unfortunately with this being such a small pond um, I didn't go to the expense of doing that. And what ended up happening is I ended up with only maybe six inches of freeboard at the most. And what that does, it doesn't give me a lot of room for error. And uh, when that got clogged up, the water spilled right over here and uh, started to erode the wall here. So, so I did two things to uh, repair. I went ahead and installed a level sill spillway here, and it's, this is an emergency spillway. I don't want this to be used very often at all. And ideally, uh, if you're going to put in an emergency uh, level sill spillway like this, you're going to want to do it not over the wall. This is over a small section of wall, about you know uh, 10 inches high, but um, not ideal at all. Uh, and I don't, and I'm hoping that this doesn't get used very often. The other thing that I did is I changed the grade out. You can see I, I put an atrium style four inch grate. So that's going to um, allow for much higher amounts of water flow to get through there. We actually had a huge uh, rainstorm uh, two nights ago and I didn't have anything spill over the wall. Everything went through the pipe like it's supposed to. If you want to avoid having these type of problems with your spillway, make sure your spillway is big enough to accommodate you know, a heavy storm surge. And um, you know, if you're gonna be using a, a pipe or a grate, you know, make sure you don't use something that's gonna be uh, restricting your flow. And, um, and then also make sure you have uh, three feet of freeboard. So those are gonna, those things are gonna help you to uh, uh, avoid this problem that I had, which could have been, um, it would have been disastrous, but it could have been a lot of uh, uh, cleanup.